Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can take apart your Bilstein B6 or B8 front strut so that you can change out or swap uh, the bump stop inside. Now these struts use an inverted design which means that instead of the bump stop being on top um, uh, up against a top mount, it's actually inside here at the bottom of the uh, sh uh, outer strut assembly. So first what we're going to need to do um, is we're going to have to use a 17 millimeter and uh, take apart or take this nut off. Once that nut is off you can take a 5 millimeter hex and you're going to want to uh, tighten uh, to drive this threaded rod which is the piston shaft into the assembly. This will release the uh, damper cartridge from the outer sh uh, strut body and allow you to pull it out. Now that everything has been loosened up, I can go ahead and I can pull the damper cartridge out of the strut body. Now it's not uncommon for the bump stop to not come out uh, still on the piston shaft of the damper, so you may have to use a, uh, a long screwdriver as well as a pick to try and fish it out. Now this bump stop I pulled out isn't actually the original bump stop. Um, the original one looks more like this um, and that's a modified one that I'm put in. Now that I've got my new bump stop stack on the uh, damper cartridge, I'll go ahead and take it and I will reinsert it uh, into the strut body. Now we can go back and put the strut assembly into our vise and take our 5mm hex and uh, get it into the piston shaft and then we're going to uh, loosen it or back out and you can push from the other end and this will uh, drive that piston shaft through the strut assembly as you can see it's happening right here how that's coming through. Once this is threaded all the way out, um, I like to take a little bit of uh, Loctite, uh, this is the blue 242, and uh, just put a little bit of that on there. And then what I will do is I will go back and take my 5mm hex and I will screw that into the shock or into the strut body and then back out just so that I coat all the threads in a little bit of that Loctite. And this will help both secure the uh, piston um, shaft to the strut body as well as that 17 millimeter nut um, to the piston shaft. Now I admit I don't know exactly what this torque spec is supposed to be um, when securing the piston shaft to the strut body but at least when I do it by hand and I check later it always ends up being about 10 newton meters or seven and a half foot pounds. So that seems to have worked well for me. Now that the piston shaft uh, is secured, we can go ahead and take the 17 millimeter nut and go ahead and put that back on. And then once again, not an official torque spec, but uh, I usually do this 17 millimeter nut to 25 foot pounds.